You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. I don't want to like it. And I think I'm going to like <laughs> it. You're Cause afraid. Because it's, it's aggressive. Yeah. It's aggressive and it's like hype music. Like it's something you want to work out to. That's what I can't like. That's what six nine. I don't. I'm not mad at when he makes the like dancing shit. It's garbage. But when he do the hype shit, I'm like, I'm not mad at it. He's just yelling I and mean, that shit get me hype. Even even when he does like the dancing stuff, like <laughs> it's still catchy as hell. Like and simple. you just hate it. You hate you hate the fact that like you're just like oh, I. Right. But it's him. <laughs> like like I'm I'm like I'm. I'm really dreading it because I know I know I'm I'm gonna probably gonna like it. There you go. Probably gonna end up liking it. Dude, last time we did this project, everybody was upset that we liked it, and everybody went off yep. us. And I'm like, hey, we we not judging him, we judging the music, and it wasn't. Yeah, yep. like you can't judge the person. Like that's why I hate when people yeah. be like, oh yeah, let's uh let's judge the actual person yeah. and just like cancel out his whole cat. Like nah, bro, like yeah. cancel him. <laughs> but I'm still gonna rock with the music, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Tory Lane. Him, he fucked up as an individual. Yep. He shot Meg, my, my baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> but his but music slaps. I fuck with music. Yeah, his music fuck slaps. With music. I fuck with Tory Lane's music. He's okay, crazy bro. though, clearly. I mean, most short cats are. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, hundred percent. His next album should be called Napoleon. <laughs> What's nah. crazy is he had such a good run. Like his during all the quarantine, his whole Instagram popped off. To the point Not where yet. he ended up getting with Meg. You know what I'm saying? Like it got that big. He was doing so well, and you just going. Yo, to everybody wanted. It. Wasn't um, what's his face next to Meg for a little bit? He was really trying to get it. Yeah, white boy. What's his name? Um, G Easy, I think. G Easy was trying for a yeah, hot minute. Yeah, yeah. And G Easy, he was in love with Realistically, her. He was in love with her is G Easy's bigger than Tory. Realistically, is like bigger than Tory Lanez. You know what I'm saying? Like height wise. I mean, but just music wise, like, you know what I'm saying? That too. I uh, know, I'm just saying, like, in but, multiple different ways. Yeah, it's like, so what, it's like, six, he's like six, four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all he needs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Tory Lane's like five, three. Yeah. And Tory nah, Lane's Tory, got Tory's footage like of him. Five, two, bro. Yeah, he's like, mad tight. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my sister. Like, she's wild. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's just super <laughs> nope. You want to? She up here for the weekend. That's why. I'm, Tell her, tell her stuff, give you 30 yeah. minutes. We'll be done. 30 minutes. Right? Yeah, like, thanks. 30 minutes. We really quick with these. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, all right, man, I'm ready when y'all are. I'm ready to start this off. All right, oh, yeah, let's I'm go. Ready. I'm ready, man. All right, we got some Matter good fact, that, Let me, um, yeah, do let, me get, let me get to a place where I could, like, just have y'all. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, my kids, my wife, my mom. <laughs> yeah, they went outside. I love my baby, too. Go. What happened, Mom? It's my first time off in a minute, bro. Drink your drink. Shit, I've been off for like six days now. Yeah, you've been getting in that Warframe, man? A little bit. I but me, I've uh, been clearing I up. I one of the best Warframes in the game, and I, I've been dangerous. I've been cleaning uh, yo, up a bunch of my optional quests in Monster Hunter. Yes, sir. Y'all can see me? Yeah, yeah, we see. You. Yeah, you're good. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let me, uh, let me just set up real quick. Yeah, yeah get comfortable, bro. Get, get you, get you ready to rock. It's the dad podcast. Yeah, thanks. I'm ready. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All I'm right, good. man. So, y'all can um, see me? Yeah, yeah, we got. Oh, we see the Knicks. We represent. Oh yeah, 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 you know I got representing New York. Oh, baby. for sure, for sure. Every I'm one of those Knicks fans my whole life. Next year's our year. I'm one of those guys. So it is. What oh I'm yeah, doing. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one, I'm one of those. Nah, we got this. We yep. got this. Yep. And, and, uh, nah, it's all right, man. Next yeah, year, yeah, yeah. we'll be back in it. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, honestly, I'm at the point where I'm a conspiracy theorist with the Knicks. I think the league is against the Knicks. There is no way that a team can tank multiple times and still get bad draft picks. Like, what happened? Yo, I, it's like I, yeah, I don't, I don't get it either, bro. I don't get it either. Or it's just terrible management. <laughs> Yo, it is terrible. Oh, Dolan, the well, worst. I can't even say management. It's ownership. It's yeah, terrible ownership. Yeah, Dolan is the worst. But what can we do? What can we do? But I watched me some good playoffs too, man. I've been watching. I've been enjoying the playoffs. These quarantine playoffs. Been nice. Yeah, man. It's, it's good to have something to watch. Yeah. That, I, after this podcast, I got to watch the watch the Lakers. But um, anyways, this I don't remember what episode this is, but we're gonna blow through this one pretty simple. We never do. Yeah, we never. I never remember, and I set it up, and I usually have it on my desktop. But anyway, so mm-hmm. we started off the week with a with a lemon. Uh, yellow stamp we had uh sz another lemon sz and three yo this dude probably has the most lemons from us period but this is uh magic molly mall 
And um, you know what? The, with this dude, he has the the new age sound. Like his quality is radio. One hundred percent. He has the sound. He ha- like he can make the music. Like the hooks are there and all that weird new age stuff. It's all there in full effect and it's quality. It's just he throws too much weird shit on it that I I can't rock with. Like he he he, t- he throws a little bit of like a yodel in every yeah, once in a while too. He be like Aah. yeah, he makes like random like noises, and I get the appeal because a lot of the new age kids want to do something that's gonna catch on, so they just try a bunch of shit till eventually someone likes it. But Bro, it's did you, just a did lot you, of annoying shit. Did you catch the tenement square bar? Oh, off rip, off rip. I'm here for that. I was so mad about that. Or I was like, "Why are you doing this?" I'm here for this. It. Is not that kind of project. Yeah, don't throw a, a Tenement Square bar on a on a singy rap rap sing project. Like what? How obscure? Yeah. How, how much did y'all like Big Sean's project? Oh no, we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. Oh, we'll get there. Okay. We're gonna get Hold to that. Really Slow down. We going through the list. We going through the list. We going through the list. All right. We going through the list. So this was the first project. This is that Magic Mall right. or whatever. Um, one thing I did want to shout out to this was uh. This dude, the pure, the dude who gave me a, a red stamp on my own platform, got the first good anything from us on this page because I gave his verse a wave emoji. <laughs> and he was hyped about it. He was posting it all in his story and all that stuff. And I'm like, He's oh. like, oh shit. Yeah, but um other than that, man, I rock with Molly Mo. This is Long Island Cat, so I'm not here for it. Shout out to AO Haiti too, because he's he, he consistently puts out work, so Yeah, and it's good, it's quality. He just does weird stuff that I'm not a hundred percent on board with but it's just, it is what it is but um so next project was uh bloody bloody luciano this was uh really sparkswell this project was a good time this was like gritty street mobster rap this should maybe want to plan a heist yeah but like out of a pizza shop oh he's gone that's all good let, let him ride we got the couch you we got the blues clues couch but um yeah this project was very much so like a heist heisty like mob movie out of hundred like, percent the local spot with like you know the 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 six for a dollar garlic not garlic knots type stuff this was nice man he could rap bro this is good raps and he had you know whenever you know a project's gonna be a dope rapidy rap project ty farris found his way on it of course, of course. <laughs> in some way shape or form ty farris is like oh i'm gonna get on this because it's a rapidy rap project and it is it's a straight to your face mobster movie rap project which you dude's got like a of. yeah he's, he's got like a voice like he's in the mob yeah, but he sounds like one of like the quiet killers, like the dude that mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying always has like a blunt weapon, not like a gun, like not that kind. Yeah. Of <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? He's like he's got the he's got the billy club. Yeah, like something that's gonna really hurt, but probably not kill you, like one of those type weapons. But, uh, he's a knee, he's a kneecapper. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like yeah. that. It makes me nervous. But uh, this project was solid, bro. This was a dope one. I don't remember where I got this one from, but it was um I think it was part of like that whole Diamond Brigade and all those cats that send me stuff. But shout, shout out to Diamond, you know what I'm saying? So the next project was one that uh Walko threw in. This was Cause It Bangs Part Five by uh, D Cure. Part of the the white rapper brigade, the people we rock with. Facts. We rock with the white rapper brigade. Somebody else got excited about getting a uh, a good a good X-Fan. rating on this one too. <laughs> X Man is nice on tracks with other people. He it's features just, good, yeah. Too much X Man can become overbearing. Yeah, That's why bro. I like his ciphers, because it'd be 30 seconds. He'd be stacking them syllables, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Those, it's not salad, though. He got upset last time. We don't talk when it's not salad. It's not it's not word salad. <laughs> <laughs> but he he's nice. It's just it's just too much. Like I don't want to hear X Man for three verses. Yeah. One verse, solid. He's nice, and he features. Yeah, he features well. But um, but man, it's not his project though. But um, everybody on here that I like, I like is on here. Dirty Needle, Snap, Think Twice was on here. Marine rapper, Snap. You know what I'm saying? They have that some- uh, Marine rapper is always nice. Very much so. Lil D was on here. I know he's still going by Lil D. I'm here for that. That's uh for for the face <laughs> for the Facebook rappers. We all know who Lil D is. And then um. Chuck Brown's on here. This is the guy. This is another dude who gave me uh who gave uh John Wick a six, but Chuck Brown was on here and he snapped on his song. Him and X Band. That song was fire. We, that we was like a posse you, cut. Even though you hated on my project, we rock with you. <laughs> I can't be mad at that. But um, and then somehow we probably deserved it. it. Yeah, facts always. But um, <laughs> yeah, man, this project was solid, man. This is this is raps. This is raps all over the place, man. And DQ is nice. We just we we accept that, bro. He's nice. He got that. He he took that that you know served discipline and put it to his raps. 
You yep. know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at that, bro. I'm I'm out, I'm out here for the white rapper brigade. They out here rapping, especially when you know you're a white rapper with a smooth, like with a, a solid beard, and it's not like a wild hobo beard. So you know he got a little bit of sauce. But um, next project was uh, oh man, yeah, this one's good. So this was um band aids, band aids on bullet holes. This was Young 808 and Trace. Shout out to Trace. We we've reviewed Trace a bunch of times. Young cat, very talented, produces, sings. And does the the melody rap raps. He is super dope and super young, but he did pull one of the young things that really upset me. So when I uh, went to review this project, I was like, uh, I was showing, you know, I was showing someone. I was like, yo, this dude Trace is nice. So I was like, let me show you some of his old stuff. And it was all taken down. So he took all of his dope music off all streaming to rebrand himself. And I just don't think that's a smart move. Yeah, especially. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's ever like a smart move to like rebrand yourself in the middle of you still trying to brand yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. But you also, know, you, you don't yeah. have to have take to things down. You. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because you you yeah, alienate an entire posture. section of your fan base. Yeah, yep. yeah. You literally like because I, dude, remember we reviewed this dude's project last year. Um, this project Cosmos, and I bumped it still. Like I bumped it a lot. And I praised mm-hmm. it. I was like, oh, this project is super dope, especially for a young cat. But it was just catchy, and it had some real fill into it. It had a lot about his pops walking out on him. It was super dark, and I rocked with it. And for him to just, like, that was like a full body of work. He put a lot into it. For just to take it down, and it's nowhere to be found. That's why, Walker, if you've seen the DMs and stuff, I'm like, yo, Trace, send me the album. Yeah, I've seen that. It's just like, bro, like, you took this whole thing down. Like, when this is the music era, bro, if you change your name, and you upload to the same distro kit under a different name, it starts up a whole new catalog. Unless someone else has the name, obviously, it's going to make it weird. But that, that's re, that's what I think rebranding is. If you want to change your name... You yeah, know you don't saying? get rid of what I mean, you already had. Yeah, I wouldn't have got rid of my music. Yeah. I mean, honestly, when I rebranded from Young Brighton to Prince Perez, I still kept all my Young Brighton stuff there. Because people like, it's, just take a look What am it. I taking it down for? Because people can... And then that's, that's even more satisfying, like... Cause it's as an artist, it feels good to go through your catalog, and you're like, yeah, keep the growth. Of course. Now imagine being a fan. Like I, every time I like an album from an artist, I try to go through their catalog, and I want to hear right. now, they were trash. Th- this isn't a direct criticism of Trace, but to me, when people do the type of rebranding that he did, it's usually because whatever they're trying to rebrand themselves with as is actually contr- like con like just totally contradicts whatever already yeah. existed. Which so they're, they're trying to like cover. Fine, but you still have to have that out there. I yeah, mean, you still gotta like show growth. You can't what's just like weird. erase it. Now what's yeah. crazy is when I went into this project, I was like, all right, he he's rebranding. He took it down. So I thought I was gonna get some like not him, new age ridiculousness, and it isn't. It's the same stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, <laughs> I don't know if it's just a name same change. Type of music. He didn't even change his name. It's literally the same type of music. So I was mad confused. I'm like, why would you take this down? But um. This project is exactly what you expect from Trace of Stuff. He got another person on there working with him. This is this is like, you know, if you like shit like Kid Leroy, Juice World, that type of stuff, but maybe on a little more of a pop tip, this is for you. This mm-hmm. is catchy. This uh-huh. is dark stuff on it. It's catchy melodies. It's all these beautiful beats. And it's just got a lot of, like, kind of like a high school feel to it, but not like on some cheesy shit, like on some shit that would have moved us in high school type. You know what I mean? The stuff that we didn't listen to in front of everybody, the shit that when right. we got home. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And we like, yo, this shit's speaking to me. Like, I can't tell nobody I'm listening to this shit. Like, it's like- I can't guy, let anybody know I yeah. like this. Yo, facts. <laughs> That's like watching Sailor Moon before school, but not telling nobody. <laughs> nah, Sailor Yo, Moon came on right before DVZ, right, bro. Right before DVZ, yep. yep. What you want me to do? Yep. I'm up uh, early, bro. I'm up early. What can I do? Uh, I'm up, I'm up extra early. That's why I get ready for school. Brush my people watch Sailor Moon real quick, you know what I mean? Yo, like, I'm, yo, that was the era, man. Fucking, it was DVZ and Yu Yu Hakusho, bro. Nothing was better. The, and Yu Yu Asha. And Yu Yu Asha was my shit. Yeah, same. Word. And I never thought I would like a character that looked like a cat. Yeah, I, I didn't even I didn't even have any concept of like furries or anything at the yeah. time. I just was like I was just used to like Goku was out here ripped, just arms out, and this and Yuasha yeah, yeah. had cat ears. I'm like I don't know how I feel about this, but I rocked with it. It was fire. Yeah, and he and he was messing yeah. stuff. Yeah, working people. He was just pissed. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
But uh, but yeah, this project, man, this was a dope project from Trace and uh, Young 808. I, I'm actually looking into Young 808's catalog too because I rocked with this. But yo, Trace, I'm telling you, you need to. I mean, I guess you took him down already, which is a waste of money. You need to put up that facts and put time. Up, yo, and yo, get effort. your band camp going, bro. Get your band camp or put it on like a separate SoundCloud or something like that. You taking away, yeah. you taking away a lot from your work, your hard work, bro, because you had like three solid projects out prior. And that's a lot. That's a lot of work. I mean, and but quality, what, if, what if he's trying to go the route where, even though he's rebranding himself, he's gonna re-release these? That would be dope. Time. That would he could be, be dope. doing that too. That would be dope. I would be. I wouldn't be mad at that because, to me, they were quality projects. Like, qu for someone to do that all on his own, like he produced mm -hmm. them and did the melody, everything, fire projects. And it was. It's not even like I'm giving him points for doing it on his own. Like I genuinely, when I knew it was from him on his own, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you talented. It makes you appreciate it more. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, I rocked with it, man. I rocked with it. But I rocked with this project too. I'm not mad at the duo action, but you know, it is what it is. I I, I wish nothing but good stuff because he's too talented to not get picked up, even as somebody is somebody's like ghostwriter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I could see him ghostwriting for pop artists and shit like that, like on the low and making a quick bread, making some bread. So like, do that. So um, so the next project, oh man, more Elderhead bars. We're gonna drop Elderhead projects all the next few weeks. But this was kill. Switch. Fantastic fantastic this shit was fantastic oh yeah kill switch this is the bad seed and team demo this was raps old head bro i'm pissed off my car's making noises when i hit the brakes raps not even tell me this <laughs> didn't feel like a fucking movie yo facts this had a good this had a lot of good stuff on it this shit felt like i was watching an episode of the boondocks like, sure <laughs> yeah yo that planet asia verse though and they were saying they were saying some That's shit too. Legend. That song slapped way too hard. I was like, "This is a track." I rock with this, this too, man. The, yeah, this this theme project had way too many raps on it. Doesn't make sense. Honestly, I don't know if Bad Seed can put out something with like, a, like a minimum or like a medium amount of raps. It's just all the raps. Yeah, he's one of those cats that are like old school from the gauntlet. It's like, bro, you don't have to rap on the corner no more. Like. No bro, one's I, coming I, for you, bro. Like you don't have I to write this I said it before, right? and I you, say you it again. Be on your soapbox, bro. Yeah. Like, nah, bro. I, I promise you, everybody that features with him, he just screams at them. <laughs> he's one of those cats. Like, you that, better like, say some fire shit. I swear yo, to God. I'm telling you, he's one of those cats that I guarantee you, if he can't set aside a, like a second to write a bar, he's pissed off for the rest of the day. Just mad as he fuck. just has to constantly just be writing stuff and like he, he he's nice i mean it is what it is like bad c's nice he's a legend you know he's been around and this project is nice this is dope story action and it's got some heat on here my man poison pen what up point poison pen on there you had ali vegas you had naps and dreads obviously the homie and then planet asia coming out here and blessing you with that verse bro this is it's a good time i knew you were finna love that planet asia i verse. was losing it bro because I, I rock with planet asia but the second i heard him come on and i heard what he was saying i was like bro come on i'm like come on come on and bad seed helped that's how you know bad seed's a legend because it was he just he's out there swinging yeah like it was like they felt like they were on the same tier and I'm not saying he's not, but I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when people like Planet Asia jump on, even like a Vets song, they make you look like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be bullying people's songs. Yeah, yeah. But shout out to the Elderhead. And then we got another Elderhead. I'm going to be dropping both of these dudes projects because they gave us a lot this year. This was King of the North Star by Napoleon the Legend. Gas. What can we say that we haven't said about <laughs> Napoleon the Legend? Gas. Yeah. And one, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> And I'm a huge fist of the North Star, King of the North Star, and like and just anime head in general. Oh, there goes Fred. He loves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. But uh, I'm a huge fan of that old school shit and the old school anime. And the whole theme of this was talking to me. Bro, he's just, uh, bro. He, and he's out here again with the theme projects. Oh, yeah. Out here with the theme projects Fantastic. every time. And just still rapping. I don't know. I don't, should. I don't know anybody else who does thematic projects like him. No. I don't know anyone I don't who, know does who else. what Napoleon does. Period. So yeah, like he hit me up and I was just like, Oh, this is exciting. And then yeah, that song went well, sounded great, and it's doing really good. And I'm here for it. My stock went up, nice nice good amount, so I'm here for it. People reaching out to me, I'm like, Let's go, let's rap. The price went up, fool. Yes, sir. I had to get my woke raps on. 
and you know I, I've been waiting to rap about some like semi political shit and like get a little woke. Yeah, and Mike Titan is a perfect uh, platform oh for you to and he made, get your he political the, rocks off. He made the mistake. I'm not gonna say mistake, mistake, but he made the mistake of sending me with his verse on there. <laughs> And that's a like, rookie. That's a that's a rookie mistake. I I'm not that. mad at that. It's either a rookie was he mistake not, or a was confident he, mistake. I was gonna say, was he just not worried about it? That was my next thing. Yeah, maybe. He's like, I ain't worried. Yeah, and I'm not mad at it. But I was like, you know, or maybe what? he was doing you a courty, uh, a professional he's courtesy. Te- he's testing the waters with me because I was like, yo, I'm gonna go all over the place. I was like, let me do some, let me do some wordplay. Let me do some stuff like that. I'm gonna mention Kanye. I'm gonna have a heavy haymaker. I did the breathe, uh, lose breath to breathe change. I was like, let me start punching from everywhere. And then I had the movie references. I was all over the place. Had some Facts. double entendres. The fucking dumb and dumberer giving us bad scenes. Double entendre. Don't even ask me how. Facts. I was. I'm out here. I'm out here. But um. Anyways, that tracks out on all streaming. Plug, 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 plug. Called embrace the mission. Mike T- Mike Titan and John D. Contradiction. But anyways, back to this King of the North <laughs> Star. Because we got cut off because of technical difficulties that I'm gonna chop out, but you yeah, can talk about it. This is uh, that McDonald's the Wi-Fi, yo. Facts. So this is Napoleon the Legend, and this is um, honestly, again, there's really not too much that you can really we can say about him that we haven't said. He's nice, and he's not just like regular nice. He can do anything on a track. Yeah, it's it's to the point where like we like him so much that we don't even want to have to explain it to other people. Yeah. Just like, yeah, like, we're just, at we're this just point, like, it's like go to his catalog and pick any of the just listen. thousand projects. Just go has. listen, and I and I'm with confidence, none of them will let you down. Yeah, I don't need, I don't want to have to tell you anymore. Yeah, there was you one should song already know that uh, when the soul dies, that could have been a diamond, but the hook really made me upset. But that would have boosted yeah. this project to like a 10. But hey, that. he can't be perfect, he is, though. Nah, but he's not. That hook was kind of whack, but this is like his 30th album in two years <laughs> i know listen <laughs> listen and his 30th top ranked high ranked album and in in- there's got to be something we should just like do it we should just quit fucking around and just do our top 10 as like it's really just three artists <laughs> facts and, or it's like five it's probably five artists like i could name the five like top not you man's lyricists i yo, facts, and, it, and I you, know, you know what i mean Riggs put out this much music that's what I'm saying. He was on that list for sure. Though. Yeah, he's on that list, but I need him to put out or at least as much music as Rome Streets. But you know. I think I think he's I think we're finna see some more from Riggs this year. Yeah, I'm, this I'm coming year because he's right now he's boosting his squad and all of them up. But I need him. I need yeah. another Riggs project and I need a Mav project stat because I just yes really with Mav. His voice is cold. So this next project was the Paid in Full EP. Don't call it that. Are you from New York? I don't even care. Don't call it that. By DMB Stop Gotti. it. Stop it. By DMB Gotti. Yeah, like, get out of here. This project was so fucking garbage. I was bored. I hated it. I hated it. And it just wasn't, it just, it's not lyrical. The beats were Mm-mm. weak. The flow is very simple. And there's just, it's just, it's just bored. Like, when did SoundCloud get on all streaming, bro? Like, what is going on? SoundCloud uses I mean, a little bit of money and everyone uses DistroKid. Like, I'm almost upset about DistroKid for letting people do this. Yeah, I don't... I just don't even know how to feel about it because it was nothing. It was nothing. There was nothing here. Nothing here. It was literally like, oh, bro, my friend raps. And then you listen to it like, oh, I guess they rap. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's, that's what it. you call that. Oh, they rhyme words. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, he likes autotune. Yeah. Same beats as everybody else. It's insane. So the next project was um, Open Flame, the EP by Nick Caution. There he is. He's back. He's Yo, back. Welcome Yo, back, sir. I don't even know what happened, man. It just like it, it froze. Y'all wasn't even talking no more. <laughs> and then the next thing I know, I'm like, lost connection. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> That's all good, man. I, it Mine's went too for a second. but um, The Wi-Fi God said, not today, sir. Yeah, the Wi-Fi. <laughs> not today. Us. The Wi-Fi came for us. But, um, so we're up to, we didn't get to the Nick Can- the, uh, the big Sean one, so you're good. So we, Nick we, Cannon. Because I, I, I was Nick reading Cannon. Nick Caution, and I, it threw me off. <laughs> threw me off. But anyways, this, uh, this Nick Caution is dope, man. I like this project. I thought every single beat slapped. And um, 
I like seeing Flip De Niro on a track again. But um, this project slid, man. It was nice. He could rap his ass off, minus that SpaghettiOs bar. But um, other than that, nah. <laughs> he was tight about it. How did that SpaghettiOs bar go? Uh, I don't even remember it, but he was like, he was just trying to flex about food and talking about like, something. it was like something regular to, to comparing like chicken parm to like SpaghettiOs. And I'm like, that's both regular. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't here for it. It wasn't clever. You know, it wasn't some shit that we ain't never eat. Like chicken parm isn't even authentic Italian, bro. Like it was something. Nah, like you got to go with that. You got to go with that. Uh, that veal parmesan. Yeah, that's... veal. Ah, yeah. If he's talking about veal, like yeah, that's on. Yeah, that's not that's, a regular. That's different. Chicken parm. That's regular. Like that's regular. Go down to Subway's and get a chicken yeah. parm sub right now. Yeah, that's like... regular, regular. Dude. You got that veal What's parm. Funny that's funny. He yes, came in the changer. comments. He came in the comments just to like not even to appreciate his green check just to complain about me hating on the spaghettios bar hey these artists are never happy bro i know man and then x band came on talking about spaghettios is his favorite meal of all time i'm like bro how do of you course eat? yeah of like, course. I bet, he, <laughs> like, are you I bet x band fucking boils the can and then he says shit straight out the can with a spoon like, right? like vienna sausage is a delicacy for him. yeah he like oh we we turn it up man me. smells like my man smells like bologna 24 <laughs> 7 Yo, X band, you gonna love talk talk about you like that <laughs> after praising you? So, uh, hey, yeah. say something about my beard looking Amish. <laughs> That's all you got. But uh, yeah, this project was solid though. This is a solid EP. I'm not even mad at it. I, I like I like Nick Caution. He always comes with it. So we're up yeah, to the project nice. that we're gonna talk about. So we're gonna talk about we're gonna save a Bruh. little bit of time for this. We're gonna talk about Detroit Two by Big Sean. Let's talk about. Wait, it. Wait, <laughs> before we even get into Detroit Two, it's too wanna, long. First of all. He should have put Detroit one on Austria. On Austria, yeah, it yeah. should. I've Absolutely. Been saying, First. I've been saying because it's not like it's a mix. I mean, it's a mixtape, but it's not like it's a regular mixtape. It's not yeah. like it's, it's like there's uh, mixtapes on all streaming. Yeah. Honestly, it's just it should be on Apple. It should be everywhere. Honestly, you know, like crazy Detroit one should like... be everywhere. Detroit one was phenomenal, yeah. and I understand why Kanye was mad. Detroit should have been his album yeah. before he came out with Hall of Fame. Yep. Detroit should have been his. Album. Absolutely should have. And what's crazy is like. He had the perfect opportunity. I mean, obviously, he's going to make his money. It is what it is. But like, right. Wayne just put, you know, No Ceilings just finally hit. You know, No Ceilings, even though they took uh, some of it. <laughs> Most of No Ceilings. Nah, nah, I'm, yeah, they took a bunch that. of it off. They took, they took, like, the best songs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but anyway. But, hey, that shows how people still, he pro that still shows the glimpses of him being stuck in that shit deal. He was, you know, that was a big thing back in the day with Wayne. Remember, he couldn't get all his songs and all that bullshit. But, um... But it wasn't that I heard. I heard it was he couldn't get the clearances from Hov because it, it was Running Town oh, yeah, and uh, um and Death the Auto Tune. Weren't those on so, um? Aren't those on Tiger? It was on though? Blueprint. One was on Blueprint. The other one was on. Uh, I think both of them was on Blueprint. Is it? Because I remember. Because I know Hov had a deal. Had something with him too, with like stuff only being on titles. So maybe it's part of that. That was yeah. the free Weezy so album. He couldn't, yeah. So he was trying to get the clearances from Hov, but the way that he had. What my thinking was, maybe he was gonna come out with the deluxe version where he had the the yeah. rest of the the songs on there. Yeah. So it's still a possibility that he still drops it, and maybe yeah. he drops like the bigger hits from um No Ceilings two and and you know yeah. now from three. Yeah. But my thinking is, you know, I know for sure he was still trying to get the clearances, but the other two I don't know about. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah. for sure he couldn't get the clearances from Hope. Okay, fair enough. But see, now, anyways, back to Big Sean, I feel like because that no ceilings drop, that would have been a perfect opportunity to give, like, more steam under I've, Detroit I've too. been saying he should have been dropping it. He yeah. should have put Detroit on there, period. Like, yeah. wait from the get-go. Because yeah. I said the same thing about Chris Brown's mixtape, the after yeah. party. Oh, the after yeah. the party. It, it, you, if you have original beats, don't keep it on that pit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why take it, you take that, it off that piff at this point. Can we just yeah. bury that piff at this point? Yeah. Like, yes, honestly. Please. Yeah, Please. it's done. It's done. It's, it it's, it's done. It's dead. It did its yeah, thing. It's only we, like we've had enough. projects we need to take Nowadays, off. Nowadays, we need to take Spotify. dream chases off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, thank you. We need to take thank dream you. chases yeah. off and some of the Wayne projects off, and you thank know, you. we're and we're good. The Chris Brown one and the Big Sean. And and, and and I still don't know how. Well, we only got dream chases three. First of all, one and two was the best ones. Easily, easily. And you got dream chases three on there. Like, yeah. come on, bro. But give us give give the people what they want. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but that's the terrible side of the business, bro. Like the game, like that. Like the fact that Detroit still isn't on there is like, and it's such a phenomenal and project. It's like, it hurts because I love that project. And if I, I do too. If I didn't like, I remember when I went to re-listen to it probably like a year or so ago, 
and I was like, I don't want to listen to this on any bootlegged music app. So I had to I like. That's the only reason I haven't. To and this probably sounds like like tell this to a young cat, or even an older cat, anyone. I had to download the project. I had to it save it to my. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. And to me, that felt that, that used to be easy back in it. That was such like, a why am I here for me? Yeah, that right? was such a job for me. And I was just like, all right, now it's finally on here, and I'm just like, all right, you know. But it was a, it was, it was a lot. But um, yeah, man. But that Detroit one is phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal. And I kind of, I went into this because I didn't know this was coming out on that day. It kind of came I, out of nowhere. I, I knew it was coming out. I was like, I was so hyped for this mm. to come out because I love Detroit one so much mm. that when he announced it. And then he was like doing like the small little promo. He did the little Joe Budden interview and everything. And he was talking about on um, Kendrick. Yeah. And I was just like, nah, I need to hear this. And it drops. And I think I listened to like the first four songs. And I'm like, I this is this is Sean. Like yeah. this is this is Sean. This is not this is this is finally famous, Big Sean. Yeah. But you know, with, this with, is with him getting of, back into his with bag. Alkaline this is water and meditation. Yeah, yep. <laughs> you know, this is him really yeah. getting back into his bag. Yeah. So that's what I liked about it. But what I didn't like about it, just like what he was saying, that it's it's too long. Too it's fucking too long. long. See, this could have been two have solid yeah. albums. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Or you could have done. Or drop it, cut it down, and drop it deluxe. Yeah. Yeah, cause or you could he could have even done a couple single drops running up to it or something. Yeah, yeah. that's what, see that's the thing that was crazy. Like this to me, I didn't see too much build up until probably like a few days ago. I saw um, I saw a tweet about it. I think it was Janae Aiko. She she posted up something about it, and I was like, oh, oh well, shit, too. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I didn't know two was dropping. So when I saw it on that list, I was like extra shocked. But I was like, bro. One, he didn't build up. I don't think he built up steam the right way for it. Two, he, you he dropped didn't. on the same day as six nine, so that number one spot's not yours. Yeah, it's not. No way. It's not, no way. Impossible. It's not, it's not, man. not without it's no just, no marketing. It's crazy how everybody loves six nine. Like he could make. It's the not that they shit. love him, bro. It's, it's love. No, no. And it's love not that they hate. Yeah, it's controversy it's, it's, sells. It's controversy pushes clicks <laughs> yeah. and I he is, looks. He is the hip hop Trump. Yo, yep. billion. Same, same, same blueprint. Yep, B- billion. Percent. You know, like I'm gonna troll every single. But I'm going to your hood and I'm going to make fun of you and I'm gonna do all of this yep. and then I'm gonna drop music and everybody's gonna gobble it up. Yep. And yep. then you and Crazy. then you name and then you name it Tattletales. Oh my god. I, it's genius, it's but at the same time, it's it like makes you mad, you, though. You hate, you love to hate them. Like oh, it's yeah. like one of those things, you know. I, but I, I personally, I, I think thing, of it like this. I don't even hate. I don't even hate them because I think of it like the same way we say Trump. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not with that whole bullshit. But I am very okay with the damage Trump is doing now because if it wasn't for the amount of damage he's done, racists would not be this exposed. No, he, he shook up the establishment, and for sure. that's what I can, I can, and there's, oh, there's like, I'm not trying to be one of those. Look at the bright side, but you can't like the thing that people don't. There is a bright side. That whole, it's yeah, not even not, a bright side. Always a bright side. It's, yeah. There's always a lesson. There's always something to learn, and that's what this generation, yeah, there you the generation go. of like, I'm trying to preach and teach people and all that. The one thing that's going to keep this generation behind is that they're never going to learn. They're never yep. going to yeah. learn from and, the bad. And a lot of this stuff is coming out now because there's a lot of stuff that I learned. Like as far as like oh the uh the the sundown laws yeah I never knew about the yeah. sundown laws yeah. you know what I mean? uh, you ain't from the know. south player <laughs> yeah. yeah man it's yeah. it's once you, you start learning and you start seeing newer things like mm. all these different protests and you're like what are they protesting now yeah. you start doing research and shit and I'm like these sundown laws is yeah. crazy like you you would never know and you're driving through the same city yeah. that still has sundown yep. laws and yep. that's that's it's phenomenal. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And what's crazy is like the fact that like there's a difference. There's people who are willing to learn, and then there's the people who know a little bit and just don't. They're 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 done learning. They're done. Yeah. Well, those people, I I think they rather stay ignorant. They yeah. rather stay yeah. ignorant from it because it's like if I don't learn about it, then you yeah. can't get mad at me. It's even that. If it's I don't know about it, then it's, the, not, no, it's not even those. I'm talking yeah. about the people who know a little bit. Though the people that think they know more than you because they know just enough. To like oh, vocalize yeah. it, I, and then I they're just like blinded that. by that. Those are the people yeah. that are the worst. But like, 
again, like same thing with music and same thing with stuff like that. Like six nine exposes that in the music end. Trump exposes that in just the America end. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to be able to sit back and appreciate stuff like that. Like I'm no by no means like I I mean whatever. Like street code this, street code that. I don't believe in snitching and all that stuff. But I'm not walking around like you better not snitch. Like fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like that's not you know that's not my game. But like. I don't, I well, don't I always, I always said it was like it's two different ways. I mean, yeah. if you're in the streets, yeah. you're about that street life. Yeah. You're 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 making it about that street yeah. life. Now it's snitching. Yeah. But and Meg's like like not to bring Meg into it, but to bring Meg into it. Yeah. And her instinct, she's not about that street life. Yeah. She's not about you but know. See, that's the thing. Six nine wasn't even about it. He bought a gang. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm once saying? You're ready, once you're he bought yeah, protection yeah, 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 and yeah, then no, thought. I get that. I get that. You're talking about it. Yeah. You're walking about it. You're yeah, yeah. about it. I'm I get that. I get that. My videos. I'm doing all of this. Yeah. I don't know. I think. Respect I think with six me. nine, it was more that he he bought some bodyguards and all of a sudden he but thought he, he was Corleone. He, but he bought the. But that's the thing. There's a difference. Like you ever watch any movie or if you know any street person, right? There's mm-hmm. always street cats, but then there's right. always that rich cat. Who thinks they could be about it? Or you? Everybody knows a rich white kid who starts selling weed. Oh yeah! And the oh, first yeah. time 100%. he gets robbed, he breaks down. Yo, that's what key, it is. Low, low key, I think. Um, what's his name? Harlow. What's his name? Jack Harlow. Uh, Jack <laughs> yeah, Harlow. Yeah. Low key, I think Jack Harlow was one of those white boys. Yeah. <laughs> and the second, yeah, he definitely got that. And vibe. That's why he changed right? his sound. And that's why he doing the smooth. Like, oh, I'm gonna go with Russ going. I'm gonna be some smooth. Yo, because the yeah. second someone touch your pockets. It's your your energy changes. That person affected nah, yeah. your life stream, bro. <laughs> like, yep. It's a wrap. Yeah, I mean Drake has said it too. Where Drake was talking about how um how somebody had ran up on him at a gas station and tried to lift off on him with a yeah. with a hammer and everything, and he was like, "Yo, that whole alt-, and it was a girl that had set him up." Yeah, and he was like, "Yo, that whole altercation that really made me look at everything differently." Yeah, and then you image, see everything changed. His music, yeah. Yeah, it's so very different. Once you got people around, and but my thing is, if you live in that life and you're talking about that life, yeah. and you want to be about that life, and yeah. then get caught, and then now you're snitching. So that's why don't I be surprised. Yeah. Meg thing, I hate it when everybody oh she's, oh, yeah, she's yeah, snitch, nah. blah blah blah. That's no, from, bro, that was she's from like female little... that got shot by a dude yeah. that was she was talking to. Yeah, bro. people like, calling her. Yeah, she... People calling her a snitch were like 13 year old white boys on the internet. Yeah, I was gonna say the people calling her a snitch would shoot a girl in her heel. Yeah. Yo, nah, bro. Yo, I had gotten to a Facebook argument with one of I right, you know my song Bob? Yeah. My boy Chris Valentine. I had gotten to a whole thing <laughs> with him. And that's my man's. Like, that's my man. Like, that's you know, from yeah. the dirt. Like, that's my man's. Yeah. And he's like, nah, she a snitch, bro. I don't care about that. Like, I get it. You from the streets, bro. Like, your mentality is gonna be different. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm from the streets too, but my mentality is totally different. Yeah. From how I was when I was maybe 18. I'm 32 now. Yeah. So it's like my whole mentality is different. So the way I look at it is if somebody do wrong to me and it affects my family, then yeah, I'm probably going to say something. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm in the streets and I'm doing the dirt, yep. nah, I'm not saying nothing. If, yeah. if I'm the one that shot homie, like nah, I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> yeah. about, you know, if I saw you shoot homie and I was right there with you, like yeah, I'm going to shoot him too. Like yeah. nah, I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah. But it's a different situation if you had a gas station, you put a gun and the, on me. And the thing, I'm with the, my kids. I think the main confusion too is like that street cats gotta understand is like you you street cats gotta understand that the internet is not for them. Facts. Facts. Without a doubt. You feel me? Without and like a, a lot of street yeah, cats. Yeah, street cats don't have time for transition and they're like, Oh, I guess I have to learn the internet. But it's not for you. Like street cats essentially are the old folks you got to set the cable box up for. It's not really for 100%. you to know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like you can't apply the same. Yeah, you stick to, to your streaming internet. service, but don't get on chat yeah. rooms. Because that's the thing. That's what yeah. people forget. The internet is is the demon, bro. The internet is Yo, the, the internet good is brutal, and the bro. bad. And there is no, there is no, there is no sound race. There's no anti race. There's no anti anything. There's no anti. There's no one gender or multiple. It, the internet is any fucking thing it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, the internet is anything. I think the internet's solely designed to radicalize you into whatever beliefs it is you have. The, the internet yeah. gives you that much. Freedom Just push you as far as they can. You want. You can be whoever yeah, and, and whatever you want on the and, internet. And it's so crazy because you'll see something happen, and then five minutes later, memes are flooded. The people, internet is brutal. It is fast. Like, bro. 
People Yo, die pe- on the internet. Yeah, people bro. die. People this die is right because of ten memes. seconds later, like it's crazy, bro. Yo, yeah, yeah. Nothing, saying, is nothing is too soon. Nothing's too soon. No, nothing. Not on the internet. Nothing is. That's too why one bro. of the one of the big one of the big industry like secret slash rumors that I heard, you know, being in the hip hop game was, uh, and I ne- and I looked at it and I was like, that's the most genius shit I've ever heard, whether it's true or not. But an old, 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 very plugged in music friend of mine was like yeah drake has a team of memers and i was like that makes perfect sense because every time drake's, every whole, time he does something not even just that remember when hotline bling came out oh and you got memes the, every and that shit blew up yeah everywhere what about when he did the anything. when he was beefing with meek mill anything. yeah that's yeah. what i was saying well, yeah anything. Meek- and he did that slideshow of all the memes and yep. blows up anything and it, think about it. Remember when, uh, I mean, everybody knew Travis Scott album was going to be big, but then you had Drake on, you know, Drake on that track on Psycho Mode, on, you know, and it went crazy. Oh, yeah, Sickle Mode. And they, and Sickle Mode, and they had a whole bunch of stuff at with like, so it's like, bro, that's genius. That's just someone playing the game. Like, they're like, oh, the internet's brutal. They like to make fun of me because I, I, I was in a wheelchair. Drake was leagues ahead of a billion. everybody in the rap game. Bro, no everybody. rapper has ever stayed that, at, like, that much on He's top. relevant. For, te- for like a de- relevant for like the decade for, for a decade a decade straight <laughs> he's got Leo, more hits than the relevant. Beatles <laughs> he, he is he is the Beatle I mean if you wanna if you wanna compare him to our era well not I can't say our era because yeah. we we're more nineties and yeah. early two thousands but, but, we, you wanna, but the thing is we saw his we saw his lane coming and we were like what's happening and music exactly changed. exactly music I mean and changed. He's, He's been so relevant for so long. He changed like, the landscape. And, and I say this to my wife all the time, bro. He can't miss. No. He can't miss. No. He does not miss. Not one song, not one. His and his Even singles, in the heat of battle. Yeah. His singles are meticulous. This motherfucker like he, don't miss. Yeah. He yeah. articulates every single single. Yeah. They said over, over shouldn't have been a single. Over shouldn't have been his, his lead single off of uh, Take It. But what happened? Blue. Over. But see, that's because he mastered, he not only mastered his craft, he mastered the system. And that's what people forget. Yep. I remember when um when Schoolboy Q dropped his last project, he was like, bro, how do I get like J. Cole or someone's number? I need the I need the number to the machine. I'm trying to get in on the machine. That shit's real. People don't understand. Like Drake controls the machine. Like cats like that, they understand the machine. And that's and, that's and that's why Pushy T was trying to Pushy T was trying to put everybody on because he yeah. said my verse is taking off. Yeah, I'll make that music. Yep, because it's Drake. And what happened? Drake buried that shit. Nobody buried talks it. about that pushy shit no more. Only die nope. hard, only diehard Dr- pushy T fans push do that crazy. shit. Crazy like Pusha is arguably top five. You could put you could insert Pusha in, into any top five conversation, arguably anytime. Yeah, d- yeah, and uh, yeah, arguably for sure. Because it's Drake. <laughs> it's buried. like he's out of the equation. He's buried. It's crazy. Yeah, buried. And he kind of won. Hope smart too, because hope, hope, hope He definitely did kind of win. And he kind of won that Drake. battle. Nah, he did. Nah, without a doubt, he won. <laughs> First of all, Duppy, in my opinion, Duppy was like, Duppy was what he did to Meek Mill. Mm. Duppy was like, it was, I could play this in a club, but I don't have to. Yeah. But I'm going to anyway. Drake's, Drake's beef record isn't great, because he didn't, he only beat Meek. He lost the common. No one cared. He lost, like, you know what I'm saying? He's lost a lot. I can't even say he lost the common. He lost the common. I can't even say he cooked him, Because bro. you know why I say he didn't lose the common? The reason why I say he didn't lose the common. Because you were a fan. One, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah look, look. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, because the the stay scheming verse is still hi- highly regarded. Yeah, and but. And two, because he had Serena, bro. Yeah. Okay. Serena. Okay, but that's but that's that's he Drake won the war. Nah, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing though. Drake <laughs> but Drake always Common he'll smoked the battle. Drake, I feel like Drake plays the long the game. Yeah, Drake plays the he long game. Common the smoked him on wax. Nah, yeah, nah. I mean but, think but, about everybody who else who smoked him. Yeah. Everybody has any lyrical rapper yeah. could smoke him. Yeah. Without a doubt. I mean Tory smoked him. Tory did smoke yeah, him. Yeah, but he I, and Tory's not like over the top lyrical. Yeah, yeah. But Tory smoked him. Yeah, but that's the thing is Drake just ends up out strategizing whoever it is because he, he gets the it's system. It's not checkers, man. Yeah, he gets the system. The system it's is just his. not check. But Hov is the same way though. You yeah. look at Hov. Look at Hov's battle racket. Um, battle rap record. He didn't totally win against Nas. 
He lost. He didn't but he won win the war. against 50. But he won the war. <laughs> but he won the war. Yeah, but he won the war. And that's all you need to do. Yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. That, his, the Reebok deal fell through with 50 because he <laughs> beefed with, with Hove. Uh, Nas lost endorsements. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 then and he nobody ended up wanted signing. to work then with Nas up, Yeah, he ended up signing bit. Nas. Like, then he ended up buying Nas's label. Buying Nas yeah, out. Yeah, look. Yo, bro. Like, that's... Yeah. And, and that's what I like about Drake because Drake sees... Drake loves Hove so much, and that's yeah. why I wish that little Wayne did the same thing because Wayne's battle with Birdman could have been over, over. Yep. a long time ago. We should have been had Carter Five out, yep. and Carter Five was trash. Yep. I mean, let's hey, hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a Wayne, whoa. It's a Wayne fan. It's whoa, a Wayne whoa, fan. whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a Wayne fan. Whoa, whoa. All right, I hold on. Wayne. You just said but that. Carter five. No, no, no. You Carter can't sit here and bro. say that Drake won his beef against Pusher and Common. The and walk, then say the Carter walk. Five was trash. <laughs> Carter Five was trash. Can we can we be honest? You smile. You smoking dust? Honest? Can we be nah, honest? you you Wayne lying. Hasn't, Wayne hasn't been the same since. I would not say it was trash. Absolutely not. Wayne hasn't been the same since he went to jail. Agreed. Still not trash. I'm I'm not saying. All right, all right. You know what? Let me let me reword. But I'm all right. It's, it wasn't it wasn't trash. It just Thank wasn't you. good. It wasn't as good as others, but that's the okay, problem that's is it, you're comparing it with nostalgia. It wasn't as good as shit he's put out prior, but, like, bro, how many times can you hit before you miss? Like, Drake is a <laughs> fucking freak of nature. Weezy's I mean, fried I himself. Misses. Yeah, Weezy's fried. I mean, come on. What, what was that? What was the one that Fire was on in, in, um, in uh, Prom Queen? What was that? I'm oh, that was, that's not a hip-hop album. It doesn't count. It's not. It's not, but it's that doesn't still count, count, bro. It's still a miss. It's absolutely a miss, but that yeah. don't count. Okay. I, I, all right. I, 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 all right. I, I see that. That's like when that. Drake starts rapping in a British accent. Yo, what was chill, that war single you put out? Don't disrespect. Don't disrespect. Don't accent Drake. Don't disrespect accent Drake. All right. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. <laughs> I don't like, like it either, I don't bro. Like when Drake does it, I don't. I'm, know, here, don't for don't like I'm, I'm here for it. I'm a Drake fan. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. We wasn't. We wasn't complaining when Drake was make was doing fucking Cat Williams accents. Let him be British. I right, let him be Jamaican and let him be I British. I don't like the British Jamaican. Let him be Bayesian, let him be whatever like he it. wants to be. That man it was an actor He's first. He's like a chameleon. He was an actor nah, first. Let nah, him be nah, what he, he wants to be. He can do anything else. He got to <laughs> cut that shit out. He got to cut that shit out for sure. I'm glad we could <laughs> agree on something. Not me. I disagree. Let Drake do what he wants. <laughs> You've been outvoted. Well, speaking, speaking of Lil Wayne, are y'all excited for, for No Ceilings 3, though? No. Nah. What? <laughs> I don't want it to because I don't want it to be. I don't Yo, want. We it didn't to, even miss a beat. So just like even though yeah, just just even though, just like we're gonna get back to this album because we we tra- yeah I, yeah but I want to get back. I don't want it to be another fucking thirty songs that Lil Wayne's been keeping in the tuck because he can't perform no more because he has elbow. That's what I'm afraid well, of. But, that's, but that would be called a six. No ceilings, I think, will be him getting back on his but industry. No, but if you think about it, no, no ceilings is a tape is a tape series. Mm-hmm. The whole idea of like no ceilings too is that he takes like popular thing. sounds and and takes them. Yeah, so he, I think he's gonna do that. I think it's gonna have a bunch of bullshit named features, and it's gonna be just him dialing it in. It's just gonna be. It's, it's basically gonna be dedication five. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm not excited. If it's if it's if it's more compact, if it's, if it's like a if it's, fourteen, if it's, I'm hoping it's short. The yeah. First no, no ceilings. Then. If We're it's a shorter, we, more worked on project, cool. But I feel like Wayne at this point is just throwing out all of his. Yeah, he's just shitting out. He's just shitting out yeah, stuff I now. I don't want like I'm over. Like this may have been a this Big Sean may have been a long project, but he worked on damn near every song. You know what I'm saying? What, and and getting back to what you were saying before about how you wish you would have had a little bit more marketing behind it. Yeah, I really think, I really think, I I, mean, I agree with you. But also, like, because when I found out about, I found out about it probably like three weeks ago, and then Man, that's way the, too sweet. That, it's, yeah, it's way too soon. And then that same week, I found out that he was dropping. He did a sneak drop with um with the Nipsey mm. record. That song's fire. And then yeah, OD. I was and then two days C-section. later, he dropped the other single. Yeah. The, uh, and then he dropped the video for that one. I yeah. forget which the which song one, it was. The demon one, the hard. Yeah, 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 harder, yeah. Harder than my demons, which isn't a great single. Which is probably one of the, it's not. one of my least I, I liked songs on it. It's okay, but, but it's not like that's a great the thing song. with Big Sean. That's the thing I hate about Big Sean. It's like his later singles are always better than the singles that yeah. he comes out. Because he first. always has to do, and it's weird if you listen to his like first. He like scales up. He does those like yeah. weird like could be party, 
could be rap type singles and they're always like very dated like this single like that harder than my demons sounds like yeah. something from six seven years ago and 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 that's the thing that's a gripe that i always have with him because of the fact that i feel like wale has gotten better with that whereas <laughs> drop a single is gonna be a single yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. like Wale at least drops Wale is one of the most inconsistent Speaking of Wale no, but that's one the of thing, the most no, Wale, Wale where? Consistent, but when it comes where the to fuck did he come from? <laughs> but look, the first single that Wale always comes out with Is always a good single It's always great, yeah yeah. It's always yeah. a good single And then, and then it does really that, good in DC and that's it And it's totally like inconsistent Yeah. But the first single is always And that's why I feel like Big Sean never really got yeah. It's like the first single is like, oh, okay. And then the second single is like, I don't know about this, yeah. bro. And it sucks too, because like, like with this one, I like that one salute to Hit Boy for coming out, doing most of the production on this, because Hit Boy's made a killing. He did the Nas project. He's been killing it. Yeah. And Hit Boy's always I mean, but underrated. Big Sean's worked with Hit Boy and Boy Wonder his whole career. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, so, like, I it's mean, good yeah, to that see was, Hit Boy. That was like, pretty good. Hit Boy did most of the production on this. Him and that dude, um, Key Wayne, which is sick. And then Kanye, yeah. Kanye executive produced this, so that probably is why it sounds amazing. But um, there's just like some things on this, like some stuff is a little long, and I would say there's probably three throwaways on here. Like I, I would say, I, I would say need... more than that. I would say like five. Maybe okay, maybe so. Yeah, I would say like I, I would, I would say about need, five. And... We didn't need the 2088 song. We didn't really need. Um, we did not. So let's talk about that. Cypher. Yeah, I, I, I agree. We didn't need a twenty. That cipher. No. As much as I like, I like Sada Baby. I don't know why, but as much as I lo love me some Royce and Eminem, I didn't need any of those people in the beginning. Uh, well, my thing is, is, is that whole cipher. I like what he was. Yeah, put your, for put your the city whole on. Detroit thing. Put your city on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad but at that. But I feel like he should have did it in two parts. Yes, and put it, the honestly, lesser. Put the lesser known the on the first up. part. Switch the beats up. Because if you yeah. know people are going to be rapping for that long, back to back to back, that beat got painful. The beat changed twice. And this song is right. eight minutes, bro. This is right. five Facts. fingers of death. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was like, come on, bro. Come At on. least three beat changes would have been nice. At, at the yeah. very least. I mean, you have, what, eight artists on that one song? There's so many. Yeah. You have to like at and least then switch, also, like, switch, switch it back wait, and forth like, or something. You have to wait, yeah, because then you and and then the way it was structured, like we have to wait through so much whack to finally hear him, Roy, Sada, and fucking M, and it's just like by the end of the song, I never want to listen to it again. I heard what I needed to hear, and the song throw it away. Yeah, it's like well, that's done. That little Wayne song loved it. I thought Wayne's verse was. Let's talk about that Wayne verse. Wayne, you didn't freestyle that. Uh, that's no, not, impossible. That was written. That verse is so gas, impossible, impossible. Yeah, it was, yeah. So I'm Wayne, not even here for that. I'm I'm liking the newer things that I'm hearing from Wayne. I don't yeah, like Wayne's the still, stuff that he's, he's still holding still on writing, to. and that's cool. Yeah. But I feel like he's just throwing out too much. Like I need Wayne to work on 13 songs only, and put that. But out. I felt like I felt like funeral. Yeah, that's kind of like what I'm hoping. Though. I feel like had a lot of throwaways. Yeah, there was a lot but, of shit. That's a lot of shit a, that was just in the cut. No, no, without a doubt. But I feel, I feel like, like eight, get rid of that I feel shit. like out of out of what it was like twenty four of them. Yeah. I feel like out of, there was a out of the solid project. Was like like in eight, there. The, yeah. eight to ten of those records oh, yeah. was like he he worked. But on. that's the thing. The rest though, of them, like, I felt like yeah, it was we're just in that I'm era holding where on to these. Who wants to listen to those twenty four again? Yeah, and again. But that's why I never ran funeral back. Who wants to listen to a twenty? song album you're not chris brown where it's like yeah. every song is like a party song and i yeah, can just exactly listen to like it. i don't want to yeah, put I mean, little wayne on in the background at a party on loop i don't no. i don't and like i want if i'm listening to a rap project something that's gonna bang and if you're not giving me a story you're not giving me a theme you're just rapping i need eight songs or 10 max and that's yeah, it at, like at i don't need least. to get crazy because i want to replay it i don't need it to pass 30 minutes yep and yep. that, I never, when I listened to Funeral, I was like, oh, this is okay. I never ran it back. And that's the, and that. Yeah, I, you I, yeah, that. I did the same thing. Yeah. I, I felt like there was, there was a couple of songs on there that I was. Uh, I with, think um, I. With Trav, with Trav I think Scott, Mahogany I really was probably the only one I really liked. Mm. Wait, which one? Mahogany. Oh, yeah. That was oh, cool. I, yeah. I love, I like Mahogany too. So, I like the one with him and Trav. Yeah. I like the, what, what is that? No, I think that's called a five. The Travis Scott <laughs> joint. That's, that, that's my song. I really like that one. But Even though you think that I, project's trash. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it's trash. I just contradictory. Like it's it's a lot of throwaways, man. Yeah. And then when you when you're banking on when you really love an artist and you love yeah. the music that they put out, and then it just doesn't meet to your expectations. Oh yeah, it hurts. You look at it differently, you know. Yeah, kind of like Scorpion. Yo, facts. I don't know. I don't know. But, that, but see, but see, know. for me, Scorpion. I don't know. Scorpion could have been, was could have been really one to, ten nah, track project I that I love for how. I listened to Scorpion how I was meant to listen to. But see, Scorpion so to me when shouldn't I have Scorpion, been two projects. It shouldn't have been two. No, pieces. I really think I think it should have been. Because when you look at it, when you look at it from it's when you look at it from two different perspectives, I listened to the first part. I just want rap. I just want him to be Which in his is bag. Then the second fair. part is I want that the soul yeah. fall gone. I want him to. But I'm stuff. saying, how, so that's why are I, you I still like, running back either of those? Yeah, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I do. Okay. All right. Then that's you. Then that's <laughs> fair. He's that's another awesome. JP, bro. Yeah. Then that's fair. Not, I'll give you that. Lie. Then that's fair. I, I did not run it back after I was done with both. I I really enjoy. I, I, I don't think it was as good as because I, I created people. a playlist of my own by removing a bunch of the songs. Yeah, and I, them I ran back like okay. Four yeah, songs I mean, I see that too. I mean, there's more songs. I, I listen to a lot more songs on um, probably like side B than I, I do yeah. on side A. I feel like side A. He rushed it yeah. after the whole Kanye beef because I mean he didn't have Hov on the yeah. original, like yeah, that yeah. was a last second feature. Yeah. So I mean I don't know man I I I like side B more than I like side A but I mean I still rock with it I mean yeah fuck fair, it fair all right um then we're gonna I'm gonna switch up the two last reviews because I'm gonna do it in the correct order so in the incorrect order because we had a single review. This was um, Snap by the homie Status631. This is a rap project. I know Walko rocked with it. And uh, Status is nice. That's my homeboy. He can rap straight to the point. Rah, rah, rah. Angry white boy raps. I ain't mad at it. Yo, accurate. You can hear that his hat's barely on his head. And um, Absolutely. Yeah, it's chin strap raps. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad yeah, at I, that at I all. I like that. I like that single. <laughs> I actually like it. I, yeah, that's one of the solid. ones I actually listen to. Yeah, he's a hype. He's a hype dude. But the reason I'm putting that review first is because I wanted to save the best for last. We had "Unearthed" by Nikki Fresh. This is Nicole Richie's album. This is Here what I'm go. talking about. White moms unite. All Bro. you save the this earth. Is- red paint on any type of fur jacket. I just went vegan. Save the bees in my backyard. Ass white girls. If you buy crystals and don't even know what they mean. But you feel like they're connected to your horoscope. This project is for you. It's the low key Karen rap. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yes, sir. Not even low Karen, bro. Karen this is this, like... No, not even Karen. Caring raps, bro. This is. Yeah. I won the the opening skit with Lionel Richie. I was in. Every skit on this so is, funny. is hilarious. She's very self aware. Huh? Yeah, she's very self aware. Who is she signed with? You I don't know? know. I don't want to know. I, you know what's I crazy, can't she's fucking You know what signed. this did for me? Because I remember remember back in the day when her and... This is for older folks, I guess, but we, we all we all are roughly the same age. Remember when her and Paris Hilton was running around acting a fool? Yeah. Yep. And then, like, yeah. Paris Hilton never really stopped. And then Nicole Richie kind of dwindled away. <laughs> I thought Nicole yeah. Richie got her life together. So this is comforting yeah, like to Nicole see. Yeah, Nicole Richie grew up. Yeah, this is comforting just, like, to see that stayed. she has it. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> she made this just to embarrass her family. <laughs> Yo. I don't know. I, I think I think she made this just to say that that she could do this better than Paris Hilton. Yo, wasn't yo, Paris probably. Signed to Young Money. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was, but she was signed as a DJ, wasn't yeah. she? <laughs> nah, she was signed as a real artist. Like Lil Wayne said, we're gonna drop a Paris Hilton <laughs> album, and it never happened. Yo, and this is this is Nicki Fresh coming at her, bro. But this, <sighs> I'm not even mad at this project because you know what? I'm kind of mad. Me being, me being, you know, a very, I'm very conscious of what I eat. I do the vegan thing. I do the alkaline water thing. I'm very conscious of what I put in my body. I'm very earth conscious. I'm very what conscious. Johnny's trying to say is he liked this. I liked all the shit she was saying. I just hated how she said it because she doesn't sound good. And I was like, I'm not mad at what she was trying to do because and hear me out this is gonna sound wild i think more artists should put out music like this <laughs> content wise i haven't i haven't listened to it the yet. content i'm not mad at because she's talking about some real shit she's talking about like you know saving the earth she's talking about big farmers trash shit that i like just it shit. feels like but it's it very feels like twitter somebody's mom who's been doing homeschooling for so long yeah. and she's trying to get her kids to be environmentally Facts. like conscious anti-vax raps 
That's what this is, yeah. bro. And I'm here for it. I'm very much here for it. It just doesn't sound good because it sounds like it's coming from like a white girl trying to tell you about the world, like at a bar. Absolutely. And that's yep. the problem. Like, that's... like, while she's just drunk. She's yeah. Like, oh, oh my oh, god. We yeah. gotta say yeah. the bees. Yeah. Like, Do you, you have any quartz? <laughs> if you ordered like a, a certain drink and she's like, "Why would you even drink that? They have to kill so many potatoes and like, you know, shit like that at a bar. Like, that's what kind of raps this is. That's how she delivers it. I don't know. That sounds annoying. It is annoying. Sounds, bro, it is. It, it is. And, and, Absolutely. And this is to show how the dedication of the page, because I listen to what people are rapping about. And the content, I'm not mad at, but everything else. I just couldn't believe what I was listening to. Because <laughs> the beats were hilarious. The skits were mad funny, bro. The skits the skits are like high-key comedy. Except for that Kyle yeah. one. Yeah, we she don't had like different, she had Yo, different yeah, people corny. on the skits, so like she did. Yeah, the she had like well. celebrities, and like she had her dad. Okay. Lionel Richie did the opening one. She had like uh, you know, a bunch of celebrities, like Mila Kunis and shit like that. And it's right. just them, just like scumbagging her. Like Mila Kunis is like, oh, I was gonna come to your show, but uh, I couldn't. You know, it's like shit that's funny to like that we would like, cause like you know when our, right. when people bail on your shows and shit like that. It was Mila Kunis pulling a what people do to us when we play live type shit. And it was just funny, bro. And she just used like new age terms to like try to she try to like mom shit, like try to turn like new age terms into like woke shit. And it was terrible, and I, I I loved it. I was very much here for it. She literally had like I think this is how your mom raps. Like that was like one of the hooks. <laughs> Dude, the bees te- the song about saving the bees, bro. I was crying, bro. She's got a song about saving the bees. She's got a song about fucking um the the crystal song is absolutely insane. Oh, yeah. She is rapping about all the crystals. Yo, wait, does she have bars though? Sometimes. No. Sometimes. No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. I don't know. Do not I don't do know. not listen to if him. You He's read, a crazy if man. you read her lyrics without hearing her I... deliver them, they might be bars, bro. I'm telling no. you. No. I'm no, they would you. read exactly how they sound. I don't know. Like a Yo, substitute right, right, teacher right, right, right. wrote them. Let, 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 let me ask this question. When she raps, does it sound like she's reading off of a paper? Or yes. Or she's oh, like yeah. really trying oh, to rap? Oh, No, it's hella, hella stiff white girl So raps. stiff white girl oh, okay. Raps. So it's like, oh, I'm going to play some Uno. And... Oh, yeah. It's and like the white girl the that does the, shit, the, rap, the rap challenge on TikTok. Just because. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's uh, the white girl drunk at car- playing karaoke. I'm going to yep, play some yep. Tupac. Yep. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yes. 100%. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm here for it, bro. I'm telling you, bro. This shit. Keep it. She, put it like you know this. She got a song called Drip, Drip, Drip about drinking water. Yeah, about hydration. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, about being hydrated. Hold up. Yo, Make well, sure you're hydrated. Hold up. Just so you can hear, I'm going to read verse one off Drip, Drip. I need you to read them in a British accent. <laughs> nah, 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 bro. <laughs> Every morning I wake and I'm parched like, whoa. Then I say to myself, mm. girl, you need H2O, bro. Bars. Okay. 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 Bars. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> so I shower, that's, that's, brush my teeth, drink some peppermint my son's tea. Like, my son's five Everything years old. He can write better water, and so do we. Bars, bro. Oh, gosh. This is what I'm going to teach my son with. You could sing this shit in a Dr. Seuss can't, <laughs> like, like a Dr. Seuss um, fucking read along. <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> this is seriously the wildest shit. Reading these lyrics, this is amazing. <laughs> the hook, we need that water, water. We need that drip, drip. <laughs> we get it thirsty. Oh my God. We need a sip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Heat, heater. It's like a trap project, too. <laughs> Yo, it is a trap project. It is very much a trap project. It is nothing else. <laughs> But um, I wanted to end on that good note because I need more people to listen to this project. This is like, this is like if Kids Bop was only instead of it being kids, it was white moms, and that's literally it. That's the best way to describe. It. You know, if if I ever like, I'll pull up at Walmart, and some white lady next to me named Betsy <laughs> is bumping this album. I promise you, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Do I, I mean honestly, you know, I, I can't even be mad if I saw that. I'd be like, yeah, that's who I'd expect to listen to this. Oh, man. All right, all right, but what if what if you know what what I'm, I'm gonna go what unlock if you pull my up door, and it's some like it's some black lady in a in a in a soccer mom car with like six little. Well, I'm not gonna kids. do shit about it and be upset at it at all because if I do, it's a hate crime. 
There we go. I had to unlock uh, the door. Uh, you missed? baiting me. What I miss? <laughs> what I miss? Come on, man. He said. He said. He said. If he pull up and seen somebody listen to this, he'd gonna be upset. And I was like, I mean, you know, if I saw a white lady listen to this, I'd just be like, I guess that makes sense. Honestly, if I and, saw, I would approve of this. If someone's playing, put it like, if someone's playing this in front of kids, I approve. I guess. I'm. A, I'm about to send it. I'm about to text it to my mom. Like, mom, you should really listen. <laughs> <laughs> she should probably be down. Yo, probably. Honestly. Probably like my mom would like this There's because no my mom hated what all. I listened no to. Growing up. Nothing? No, uh, I don't oh. think there is a. There may be a little, no, no, but nothing no. serious. I, I don't think she curses. I, some of the skits have some cursing, but I don't think she okay. curses in it. But is he? You know what? Just because like you're like so enthusiastic about it, I'm gonna <laughs> check it out. Bro, but I promise you, I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna be like, I hate this shit. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> let me know if you don't though. I'm gonna be Yo, like, you I know told what, you. you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my wife sit down. We just go. We gonna listen. To it. Don't even say anything. Just put it on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna be like, yo, babe, you gotta listen to this new album. Like this is fire. I hope this album does good, man. I hope people Yo, listen bro, to it. Bro, I promise you. I'm, I'm, a, and I'm gonna videotape it. And I'm gonna send it to the group chat. I'm gonna videotape. I'm gonna videotape my, my wife's reaction. Everything. I'm, I'm gonna send it to the group chat. Done. She's either gonna love it or be like, "What the fuck is this?" I don't know because my wife is like, she's full Puerto Rican, but we look at her, she looks white. So everybody, like, when I first met, I thought she was white. Hmm. So you know, I mean, she might just like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things. It's like I just don't know because it's not like she listens to Spanish music. You know what I mean? I mean, I think her favorite artist is like Justin Bieber or something. So she might like. Oh it. my god! After hey, Despa- man, that, hey, after hey, Despacito, hey, don't, don't the game changed. The after Desmond the, the beef, game man. changed. Beeves is the man. That's a fact. But uh, but that's all we got. Uh, that's, that's all the reviews we got, man. Everybody has, has a good week. I'm not dropping anything tomorrow because tomorrow's a holiday. But um, the reviews. It's a Labor Day, baby. On Tuesday. Labor Day. Off like that. But uh, yo, enjoy your Labor Days, fellas, and everybody. Peace, else. bro. Peace. Peace, love, and chicken grease, y'all. Yeah? Yes, sir.